Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm going to do a series of weaving tutorials to show you how to do different types of weaves. And this first video that I put together is going to show you how to put the warp onto your loom. So I have an example of a weaving that's not finished here. And the warp strings are the strings that are going up and down. And then there's also strings that are going horizontally. These are called the weft. And you can remember that because the weft goes weft and right. So with that being said, let's get started. I have two types of looms in my classroom. The first one has these nails on the edge that are evenly spaced. This is a homemade loom. And the other type I have has notches on it and looks like this. This loom is manufactured specifically for weaving. First I'm going to show you how to put the warp on this notched loom. If you have a loom with nails, go ahead and skip ahead. And I'm going to start by tying a knot in my string, three or four knots thick, so that it won't slip through the gaps. Once I have my knot, I can go ahead and put it in that first notch on my loom, just like that. And then I will go across the loom and over one notch and continue to go across and over until my entire loom is filled, making sure that I keep my warp string nice and tense so that there's not a lot of slack, otherwise it will be very difficult to weave later. And after your loom is completely full, go ahead and count your number of warp strings. We need an even number of strings here. If you have an odd number, like I do, just go ahead and undo your last string, and I'll tie a knot on this side. So I'm gonna tie a knot just like I did my first knot, but I'm going to mark with my thumb where that knot needs to go. I want my tension to stay good for this, otherwise it will be difficult to weave. So I'm going to keep my thumb where that knot needs to go so that the tension will be good. And I'll go ahead and tie that knot three or four times so it doesn't slip through the gap. And after your knot is tied, go ahead and slip it into the gap and you can trim both your edges. And you have your warp and you're ready to start weaving. Next I'm going to show you how to put the warp on this type of loom. This is a handmade loom made with a canvas stretcher and all they did was pounded nails so that they're evenly spaced apart on each side. I'll start by grabbing my string and tying it onto my first nail. I just use the knot that you use to tie your shoe and tie it twice. You can trim the edge if you'd like. And then I'll take the string and bring it across and wrap it around the first two nails and then go back the other way. Don't make the mistake of just wrapping it around one, it won't be even. Make sure you wrap it around two. On the opposite side, I'm going to wrap it around the second and the third nail, and then go ahead and go across the other side. And I'll continue wrapping two nails so that my warp string is evenly spaced. Just to give you a closer look, this is what each side will look like if it's properly wrapped. As you continue to wrap, make sure that you keep tension on your warp string. You don't want these strings to be too loose, otherwise it will be very difficult to weave. And you'll just continue to wrap each nail until you're all the way across your loom. Once you get to the end of your loom, go ahead and count your warp strings and make sure you have an even number. I have an even number, but if I didn't and I had an odd, I would just undo one of my strings and tie it on the opposite side. But because this is even, I don't need to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and tie this string onto the nail, just like I did the first at the beginning. And I really wanna make sure that I'm keeping the tension as much as possible with my warp strings so that my weaving will go a little bit easier. After that's done, all you need to do is trim your edge and you are ready to begin. <laughs> 